the programme. I need to get down there now. Bye. Uh, Paul, uh, and why are we dressed like that? I'm not taking no chances today. There's three of them. Three of what? Gladiators! Yeah! You don't need all this armor. Say gladiators. <laughs> Pussy cats. Pussy cats. Right? Trojan is six foot two tall, right? Weighs 17 and a half stone, and I've never seen a pussycat like that before. Oh yeah, I'm shaking. Paul, last year I fought Jamie Reeves, the world's strongest man. The gladiators. <laughs> no problem. Uh, Mickey, I think you've got visitors. Oh, I've just got to go and do a bit of dusting. <laughs> and on today's show, we've got top entertainment with master magician Paul Daniels. The comedy cabaret team investigate the art of kissing. And three more contestants will be facing our three rounds of fun in taking the mickey. And on the fame game, a star-studded CBBC team take on the mighty gladiators. And how will today's teacher get on on our hot seat? Stay tuned to find out. And we've got live music from top chart band Capella. <laughs> Corinne Furlong, we have David Dillon, and we have Claire Wilson, and they're all from Liverpool. Now, this week, the trays of gunja are back, and our contestants have just 20 seconds to try and pick out as many planes as they can, but they can only use their teeth. And of course, only the planes in the buckets count. So are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Let's count up those points. Right, Corinne has one, two, three planes in the bucket. That's 30 points. Well done. <laughs> David has one, two planes in the bucket. That's 20 points. <laughs> and Claire has one, two, three planes in the bucket. That's 30 points. So let's take a look at the scores. David has 20 points. And Corinne and Claire are neck and neck with 30 points. So we'll see how they get on in round two. And now it's competition time with Paul. Thanks, Colette, and thanks for the letters you've been sending us. Now, I've got a couple here. This one's from Hannah Moxon from Chelmsford in Essex. And she writes, she watches Hangar 17 with her brothers Thomas and Lloyd, and she also has some pets. Now, check this out. She's got three fish, a hamster called Hazel, two rabbits, and loads of stick insects. Oh, Hannah, you've got a little zoo there, haven't you? <laughs> this one's from Jack Davis in Hampshire, and he writes, he'd like to come on Hangar 17 because it's hilarious with incredible antics. It's got naughty tricks and great surprises. It's amazing and radical, and it's number one on his list in seven million others too. Now, in last week's Who's What competition, I showed you a picture of Miss Piggy and asked you, whose girlfriend is she? Well, the answer was C, Kermit the Frog, and the lucky winner chosen at random is Ryan Holland from St. Austell in Cornwall. So well done, I'm going to send you a Hangar 17 sweatshirt and a personal stereo. Now, do you fancy winning a cinema pass, a hat, a jacket, and a Hangar 17 sweatshirt? Well, you can if you think you know the answer to this week's Who's What competition. And this week, it is... Who's... Soap. Now, I want you to listen to this piece of music and tell me which soap does it come from. Now, is this soap A, EastEnders, B, Neighbours, or C, Coronation Street? If you think you know the answer, then phone in now on 0891 44717. State A, B or C, whichever one you think it is. Leave your name, age and a telephone number and we'll select the correct entry from all the right answers next week. The lines are going to be open till midnight tomorrow and whatever you do, don't forget to ask permission from whoever pays the phone bill. But now here's one of my favourite items on Hangar 17. It's Teacher on the hot seat. Yes, the hot seat is back and another teacher is in danger of being gunged. Who is it behind our doors today? Please welcome, from St. Andrew's School, Barry Lancashire, Mr. Emmett! Hello, Mr. Emmett, and welcome to Hangar 17. Now, I'd like you to listen to this letter, please. T is for Tony, teaches our class. O is for Horrible, who shouts at us en masse. N is for Nibbles, where he eats his food. Y is for Y, front, so they begin their rude. 
He's for reason when he's not with us. M is for mother, it's all that he does. M is for morning, he does this a lot. O is for organised, which I'm afraid he is not. C is his temper, he's louder than the rest. C is terrific, he's really the best. Well, thank you, Amy, for that letter. It's a very nice letter indeed. O is for horrible and T is for terrific. Is he a terrific teacher? No. 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 Well, I hope you've been studying your homework. Well, I'm going to ask you to take your helmet off, please, while I start to ask you these questions. Question number one. Who was the British Prime Minister when the Second World War broke out? Neville Chamberlain. Question number two. What date was Napoleon Bonaparte born? 1066. And question number three. For how long exactly did King George III reign? Three years, six months, 24 days. Wow, Mr. Emmett, I asked you three questions, and unfortunately, you only got one right. So I think you know what's going to happen. Amy, do your worst. <laughs> give you a Hagen 17 school gift voucher which I know that you're going to be buying some school equipment with. Thank you. A big round of applause. You've been a great sport for Mr. Emmett. Yes, it's the fame game. The game where two teams of top celebrities get to show us their hidden talents to see if they can win the prestigious Hangar 17 trophy. So let's meet the teams, the CBBC team, featuring Hot Foot from the broom cupboard, Toby Anstis. Has this made it? From the really wild show, Chris Packham. And from Blue Peter, Tim Vincent. Right, we've met the brawn, let's meet the brains. The gladiators, Falcon. Trojan. And Scorpio. Toby, is it right you once won a modelling competition? That's right, when I was five, yeah. Well, I want you Why is that? to do a bit of toddling now and model your favourite outfit, the anorak. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Then. This one. Yeah. Where's the balaclava then? Have I got Oh, it, it's a problem with... with Hang on a sec, there we go. It's a hard I just one. pop this on. Hey. Give us the When I was five, it was like this. <laughs> Yes, okay, okay, oh, yes, thank you. Yes, thank thank you. you. Yes, yes, over then. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna give you 30 points. Yeah. Yes, you. Chris, yeah. you're a bit of an artist. Tonight, I want you to draw the most beautiful man in here. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, like a pose. you want me to pose? Obviously, I'm not under the modelling of Toby's standard. Right, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Need a few more seconds yet. Should we have a look? Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll have a look. Okay, maybe, yeah. Come on, show us how. There we are. Oh, more than that. What do you what think of that? Uh, I'm going to give you 20 points for that. That's how kind I Yeah, 20 so points. Vulcan, is it right? You, you used to do a bit of ballet. I did. Okay, no show us a few steps. Sure. To this music. <laughs> I'm gonna give you what I give you. I'm gonna give you 45 points for that. <laughs> yeah. Trojan, come with me. Hold me hands a minute. Should we skip? <laughs> oh. Careful, mate. <laughs> Trojan, uh, you love cooking, apparently. I do. Happy days. Yeah, yeah. I do. Lost uh, time in the kitchen. No, yeah. uh, I want you to ace this kick. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Shall I spin this? No, don't. Don't. Oh, you really helped. <laughs> you really helped, didn't you? Yeah. No, look, that's the G. That's the Gladiator G. Oh, the Gladiator G. Yes. Oh, yeah. Are oh, you sick? Yeah. And that's a round of applause for Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sit yourself, Joe. All right, 20 please, points, 20 please. points, 20 points. Come here, Tim. Yeah, OK. You're a bit of a I'm fitness. dreading this bit. Yeah. Why? You're a bit of a fitness fanatic. I was a fitness fanatic. Yeah. Well, I want to sh you to show us how fit you are. Right. With a few press ups. <laughs> Some press ups. How many? Oh, ten. 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 Right. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, I'll clap in between them, right? Yeah. You've got to count. Yeah, you've got to count, oh, right? Yeah, Ready? Oh, yeah. Here we go. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. 
Now, apparently you used to be a makeup artist. Yes. Now, <laughs> I want you to make this mask okay. beautiful. I just happen to have... Oh, Charlie. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a look. It must be Friday by now. Am I looking good? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Do you like Toby, <laughs> Cool. Do you that's think, do cool. I look better? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's great, that's great. That's better than you look could do. <laughs> I'm going to give you 30 points. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So the final score is all, the CBBC team 90, but the Gladiators 95. Oh. Yeah. So they take away the Hangar 17 trophy. Oh, yeah, come you. on. <laughs> right, let's go and play round two of Take Me Mickey with Paul. One, Claire and Corrine were tied in the lead, and uh, let's see if David can catch up, because sadly, at the end of this round, we're going to have to lose a contestant. Oh. <laughs> so, it's all to play for. Now, hidden behind the Hangar 17 logo are a series of animals. So, let's activate that screen. OK, any ideas what this is? What animal, yeah, Dave? Seal. It's a seal, and you got yourself ten points. Next picture, please. Yep, Dave, again. Cut. Yes, it is a cat. You got yourself another ten points. Next picture. Yeah, David a again. Rabbit. Uh, it's not a rabbit, so you can't answer this. But yeah, correct. It's a squirrel. You got yourself ten points. Let's move on to our next picture. This one quite easy. Yeah. yeah. It's a giraffe. You got yourself ten points. Well done, Claire. Next picture. Yep, Dave again. A lion. It's a lion. You got yourself ten points. Next picture. Right, that's the end of round two. Let's see what the scores are. Corinne has 40 points, David has 50 points, and Claire has 40 points. So that means we've got a bit of a tie-break situation. So I'm going to ask you a question now, and the first person to shout out the answer wins, OK? Right, what is the name of Wayne's friend in Wayne's world? Gar. It's Gar. Well done. But that means we're going to have to say goodbye to you, Corinne. Oh, but you're going to take with you your hanger 17 hat and a hooded sweatshirt. So give a round of applause. So Claire and David now go on to the final round to see who wins the Hangar 17 jacket and the chance to go for today's mystery prize. Yes. A tie break in round two, the tension's building. Put my hands, shaking with the nerves. Now, we at Hangar 17 pride ourselves on bringing you top entertainment, whether it be comedy cabaret team, teacher in the hot seat, or top short acts. But we think we've surpassed ourselves tonight. So will you please welcome the master of magic and illusion, Mr. Paul Daniels. <laughs> Now, the trick that you're about to see, this one, starts off with just a table. And, Paul, have a look at that table. That's enough. Now, then, this is Paul. He's nearly examined it. And this is Debbie. You can examine her in greater detail. For example, round the neck, as you know, we've strapped her up with a big leather strap. And down the bottom, there's another one. Well, this is a pair of them, you see, and her ankles are all welded together. And they're riveted like that, you see. That's very important. And little locks on everywhere. Right. Now, Debbie sits upon the table. And the trick is actually a version of the very, 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 very first ever version of sewing a woman in halves. Yeah, halves. It was so famous in those days that people actually went to the theatre to see the trick. But, um, so, oh, they also used these. Now, this was interesting, because nowadays, when you're doing this kind of trick, you always leave the feet and the head sticking out. But you're holding down this end, Colette is holding down that yep. end, Debris cannot move. Oh, Deborah cannot move. And you can see that these are very slim, and you can see inside them. I'm going to show you everything. And, uh, and they fit over Debbie, so now not only can she not move backwards or forwards or sideways, she cannot move up or down either, because these get strapped on and hold her down. Now, the oddity about all of this is, this is now, it becomes more of a mystery. Hang on, bring it back a bit like this. Then I can reach over there as well. Because I'm only little, you know. <laughs> we just put that on there and that on there. Now, what next? Now, has she been doing something funny while we've been messing about? Show them that the last is still no. in the same place, Flower. Now, there's Debbie, you see, and this... Round one is a blade which fits into a slot like this. And when it goes in, you can see it resting on her leg. Have a look. Oh, you're allowed to have a look. You're all right. Yeah, it's resting. 
Yeah? yeah. Resting. Resting. Would you like to shut the front doors? All right. Yeah. That's it. And we slam this through. Now, this gets a bit complicated. Like yeah, like that. Can't get it through. Through. through there. And then we've got another blade. And we put this one in here, like this, see? Like this. And we get it. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Never mind. Um, Martin. Three, two, one. Pull. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And it goes in. See? Now she is in, divided in two pieces. But some people think that she's still alive. Now we've got some um, of these. They go in here. See? Like this. That. Now, would you like to pull your end forwards like this and show right. people that she hasn't sneaked out the back? Because some people think that she does. There you go. You might have to go upstairs. And we come all the way around like this. And when we get it round there, click on there, click on there, pull, that's it. And away we go like that. That's <laughs> Should we put her back together? Because we might need her at the Prince of Wales, might we? That's a good idea. That's yes. a very good idea, right? We'll put it back together, you see, because Debbie, when we get to the theatre, was trained at the Royal Ballet. Did you know that? Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll take this out of here, like that. I only get to sing one song. It's not fair, really. Yeah. Like that. And we open it all up like this. Oh, don't worry, she's all right. You can't see her yet, but the rest can. Look, if we take that off there like this, and we just get that strap back up here, there you go. And there we are, together again. The truly astounding Paul Daniels. And if you're in London in March, you can go and see Paul, Debbie and Martin in their magic show at the Prince of Wales Theatre. Now, you know, Paul Daniels isn't the only one who can do magic. Colette, Paul, what time is it? Right, it's time for comedy cabaret and the art of kissing. Mm -hmm. Hi. Welcome to the art of kissing. <laughs> I've been teaching Peter a few simple moves to prepare him for his first ever kiss. Shut up, Roy. Go on, Pete. Show them what you've learned. Right, Go on. Okay. Hi. Smile, pout, and kiss. <sighs> Very good. Yeah, it felt good. Felt good. Right. Are you ready to kiss a girl yet? Yes, you are. Where is she? Over there. <laughs> she's covered in a sheet. Well, she's a bit shy. <laughs> oh, a bit nervous myself. No, you needn't be. Right. Just remember everything I taught you. Right, okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Hi. Smile, pout, and kiss. Oh, of course. She's a frog. That's a frog. No, but it's perfect. I'm not kissing a frog. Why not? Well, they're green, they're slimy, they live in ponds, they come from tadpoles. Yeah, normally, yes. But this is a magic frog. Ah, yeah, magic yeah. frog. If you kiss this frog, she'll turn into a beautiful princess. What? Yeah. What, like in the fairy tales? Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Right, okay, I'll have a go. All, all right, right. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Hi. Smile, pout, and kiss. Go on, go on. No, 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 I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. You don't trust me, do you? Well, I mean, no, to be perfectly honest. All right, I'll kiss the frog. Oh, go on, then you kiss the frog. I will, I'll the kiss the frog. The green and slimy frog yeah, that lives in a pond and is right. apparently going to turn into a beautiful Hi. princess. Smile, I don't pout, think. and... <laughs> Whoa, crikey! Yeah, that, that. Oh, 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 she's my frog, remember? Come on. All right, all right, all right. You can't just go oh, diving why? in there. Why? It might be dangerous. I'll prepare to take the risk. <laughs> ah. <coughs> Hi, smile, pout, and mm. kiss. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, I hope that's all your kissing problem solved. Right, hey, next... Hey, 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 is it time for I hate this house? Well, it would have been time for I hate this house, but you two blew up the projector. So go and fix it. <sighs> so after bad news, no, I hate this house this week. But the good news is it's time for round three of Taking the Mickey. Yeah! And this round's called The Whole Picture. And our contestants, Claire and David, have to guess the name of a famous TV show from the picture clues hidden beneath the numbers. What is the name of this show? A bed. A doorstep. A cereal. An egg. David. The Big Breakfast. The Big Breakfast. 30 yeah! points to you. What is the name of this show? A pie. What pie? Television? David. Noah's House Party. Noah's House Party. 50 points to you. What is the name of this show? A garden. 
a sailing ship. Lots of things to make things with. David. Blue Peter. Blue Peter, David, you scored 30 points. Oh, that's the end of the round. So, what are the final scores? David, you've scored 160 points. Claire, you've scored 40 points. David, you're this week's winner. Claire, you don't go away empty-handed because you've won a bag of sports goodies and a personal stereo. Let's have a round of applause for Claire. <laughs> David, you are Mr. Brainy, aren't you? <laughs> well, you wouldn't hang a something jagged, and you can go for the mystery prize. The mystery prize can be anything from a computer to a cabbage. What is it going to be this week? And to win the mystery prize, I'm going to ask you three questions. You answer two correctly, and you've won it. Now, while you think about what you want to do, I'm going to show the viewers at home what this week's mystery prize is. OK, Dave, what do you want to do? I'll go for it. You're going to go for it? Just come with me. Here we go. Question one. Where does the Prime Minister live? To 10 Downing Street. Question two. Which king had six wives? Henry VIII. Question three. What is the name of Aladdin's girlfriend? Jesper. David, you've answered two questions correctly, so you've won this week's mystery prize, which is... <laughs> a 16-bit home entertainment system. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to take part in taking the Mickey, right here to us at Hangar 17, PO Box 1700, London W12 6HA. Break it up, break it up, break it up. Oh, it's been brilliant having the gladiators here. It's been a great show this uh, week. I tell you what's even better next week. There's more crazy capers from the comedy cabaret team. And there's live music from top American band EYC. I hate this house, but we'll be back to celebrate Gwen's birthday. So tune in to Hangar 17, the show that puts the grrrr in a Tuesday. So we'll see you then, but we'll leave you now with Capella and Move On Baby. Bye. See ya. <laughs> And I'm ring, speaks to move you, so I can prove you that I can run. I'm like a fool, like I use I love music, you can't get feel it. Check me out, this is how I feel it. The big, the mid, the treble, I just do sit together. Cause I love music. Capella, love it. Enjoyed it down there at the hangar as well. Good fun on that fame game. Okay, despite me to wear that anorak.